Alberta is bracing for the Pope's visit coming up next week. And according to Grand Chief George Arcan Jr., the Confederacy of Treaty 6 First Nations is overwhelmed with calls for information and support. He joins us now to, to discuss. Grand Chief, thanks so much for being with us here today. Thank you, Daryl. Now, there's going to be a huge number of visitors to your territory, and uh, some residential school survivors may get a little overwhelmed. Um, what's it been like planning for all of this? Right from uh, the beginning, we always thought that uh, this event was going to be for the residential school survivors, so that's always been our focus. So we've uh, ensured that there's going to be support services and necessary folks that will help uh, the survivors. I, I know uh, people assume um, you know, that we're talking about younger people, but really our survivors are more of a golden age. Um, they're a little bit older and, and we need to make sure we have services and, and support ready for the survivors that do come. So we're encouraging people to come come to the uh, activities that are happening here in Alberta, but, but essentially uh, this event has been uh, to give the survivors an opportunity to hear the Pope apologize. And as you just mentioned, uh, your news release today focused on, on survivors of residential schools. Um, what information did you want to share with them and why was it important to get that info out? The important uh, piece is that uh, any, any survivors that want to attend uh, the event, they need to talk to their national organization. Uh, so you have the AFN, I, ITK and MNC who have coordinators that will help uh, ensure that those folks who need to attend have the opportunity to attend. In addition to that, um, Muscochis and Lac St. Anne have websites uh, so people can get on those websites, get information. Uh, so everyone that's coming to the event needs to have a ticket and or you won't be able to get in. Secondly, there's some uh, logistical challenges that are gonna have to be uh, looked after. People are, are cannot just get up in the morning and drive to the event. There's gonna have to be parking and they're gonna have to take buses into the event. Uh, so all these things uh, people need to understand and I hope that people just are patient with us and, and as we work through some of the details, we'll try to make it as seamless as possible. But at the end of the day, uh, we anticipate a lot of people coming to this, uh, to visit Edmonton and be part of each of the events. And we hope that we can accommodate, uh, especially survivors. And uh, of course, there's uh, limited resources that Treaty 6 can offer. Um, and, you, and you touched on it a little bit. How can people get the support they need uh, you know, for this? My understanding is that uh, the federal government has talked to each of the national organizations to try to help and figure out how some of the resourcing can be uh, supported uh, so that they can bring uh, survivors into to be part of the event. But in Treaty 6, uh, we've been able to coordinate uh, with the federal government the opportunity to uh, ensure that we have access to resources for people's uh, attendance at one, at one of the events. And in addition to that, we've uh, been able to work with uh, the Archdiocese and the provincial government and some of the national committees uh, to make sure that we have the resources on the ground. Uh, there's still some challenges and, and there's still uh, some hurdles that we have to uh, climb over. And I hope that, uh, again, people just have patience and, and uh, respect uh, that we're doing all we can to make sure that survivors can attend the event. And lastly here, uh, Grand Chief, has there been enough communication between Treaty 6 and the Catholic Church organizers in, in your view? I don't think uh, that we've communicated uh, as much as we should have. And, and I think it's uh, been a challenge. Uh, some, again, we're, we're working out and both sides have said that we, we need to continue communicating. Uh, the Pope uh, visit was really announced almost like two weeks ago, uh, was confirmed, even though we kind of had some indication. So the planning and activity and some of the infrastructure that's being put in the communities now uh, should have been done a long time ago, not just when the Pope came. And, and I think uh, we should have done some of these things, uh, you know, some time ago. Uh, but everybody now is, is trying to work together to find some of the solutions. And 
uh, we're always going to still have the challenge of communication. It's always going to be a challenge and it's something we're going to have to talk about after. But uh, for now, uh, we're just working hard to make sure all of the uh, survivors have an opportunity who want to attend. All right, Grand Chief, we'll have to leave it there. Uh, again, thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day today to speak with us. Okay, thank you.